charred trail of destruction in Ocean Beach this morning. Police say a man set one fire after another over a 10 block area. Now, firefighters say he was lighting trash cans on fire and then placing them near cars and fences to spread the flames. 10 News anchor Jim Patton is in Ocean Beach with the details. The loss of a real classic here. Now, it started, firefighters tell us, when the arsonist lit this box on fire and then dropped it into this convertible MGB 1979 convertible. Had been restored over the last four years and now just about completely destroyed because of a man who went on a fire lighting tirade. The alley of just before 6 a.m. on Muir Avenue at West Point Loma Boulevard in Ocean Beach, flames from an ignited garbage can spreading to a fence and sending neighbors scrambling for safety. Well, I know, and that's the only way out of that residence. Uh, sure enough, there's a big old trash can flame on fire, so told my kids, get up. San Diego firefighters say the calls began just after 11 p.m. and continued throughout the night. Anytime you have multiple fires set that quickly in that small area, you know something's going on. At least a half dozen full-blown fires over a 10-block area torching trash cans and cars. I don't think I'll be able to drive it back home to Tucson, Arizona. Um, and someone had pushed a couple of recycling bins up against my wife and my cars um, and lit some paper on fire. Police detaining this man, who neighbors say was caught with a butane lighter. He's also known around the neighborhood as someone who often is seen singing or ranting. Does it surprise me sometimes what's going on here in Ocean Beach? Sometimes it's, we're having fun and sometimes we're watching out for each other. And take a look at this. Uh, neighbors tell us that the man who started these fires at one point tried to remove this propane tank from the barbecue here, but fortunately the owner keeps it locked up. So you saw that butane lighter he had on him when he was arrested. That's believed to have come from this barbecue. Nobody injured. There is an arson investigation underway. As for the lost sports car, the man who owns it has started a GoFundMe page. He only had liability insurance on the car, and you can find a link to that at 10news.com. Reporting in OB, Jim Patton, 10 News.